Okay, so up to this point, we've, we've dealt with single plexalizes where there is one analyte of interest and we use, there's only one um, reaction that takes place in the well of the ELISA plate. But increasingly so, there's an increased move towards multiplex ELISAs. Um, and the platform I'm going to talk about is Mesoscale Scale Discovery, which is based on electrochemiluminescence. And essentially, within each well of the plate of, of this uh, platform, you'll have a number of different regions that uh, will detect different analytes, as you can see here. So there, within each well, there are, are, there are, in this case, nine or eight different um, small subsections of that well that are dedicated to looking at individual analytes. And the way this platform generally works is each one of these little, little regions in the well will be coated with a capture antibody. And then when you add the sample, the, your target of interest will bind to the capture antibody. And then subsequently, you'll add the detection antibody um, afterwards, which will have this sulfo tag attached. And the concept is that when you put an electric current across the well, then if if the, the individual segments have detected the target of interest, they will have this detection antibody, which will have this sulfo tag. And when you put an electric current across the, the plate, it will cause this sulfo tag to give, out, uh, uh, to give out light. And based on the amount of light produced in each one of these uh, dedicated um, regions of the plate, will give us an indication of how much of the analyte has been detected. Now, when the, the manufacturer is undergoing the process of developing these assays, they have to take into consideration all the issues in terms of interference um, between different analytes, etc. Um, so what you may find is when you go to buy a multiplex ELISA from Mesoscale Discovery, they may say, for instance, look, we can let we can do a multiplex for what you want to look at, but we can't uh, mix these two analytes together because they interfere with each other. So that's a, a big limitation of the multiplex laser. And I, I suppose part of the difficulty with these these platforms is they're very much in their infancy, um, and over time their sensitivity and reliability is, is getting increasingly better. For instance, Mesoscale Discovery has a set of panels that can be used for fundamental research that they believe is generally reliable, but then they have a different level for clinically uh, validated um, analytes of interest, and they have a greater degree of scrutiny over them. And that's sort of the, the business model of, of this uh, company that they will um, develop um, multiplex lasers for very fundamental research initially, with the hope eventually that they'll they'll clinically validate it. But in the end term that they haven't clinically validated, they'll sell for fundamental laboratory use um, in the labs. Um, so in the first example, I've said that they add a capture antibody, then an analyte, then the, the detection antibody the capture only detection. But there are other examples where they can change it up again, where they actually coat it with an antigen. Um, so in this case, they've coated the plate with a protein of interest. In this case, a carbohydrate with interest. In this case, a virus of interest. Um, and then they may want to look at, they may use the same platform for um, immunohistochemistry. 